the net. <laughs> ano? Oo, oh, ano? Anong ginagawa mong morning routine bago mag-direct? Wala. Morning, may morning routine ka? Meron. 30 seconds na skincare. 30 seconds, we get it. May morning routine ka nga? Hindi ka ba nagkakape? Ganyan. Ay, nagkakape ako, pero sa set. Nagkat ka lang isa-isa, hey? Sa set na. Ay, napaka-grepa. Sa set na. Bakit? Ba't ka bibili ko pero nung bibili para sa'yo? Ay, alam diba? niyo na si Tony. 100, ano din yun? 40 pesos. So, ikaw, ano, ano sa'yo? Kape? Kape. Tapos, tulala, mga 30 minutes. Grabe, late ka na. Hindi, gumigisi ko nung maaga para matulala. <laughs> Yun lang? Yun lang. Oo, oh, sige. Yung guest natin ngayon, siyempre nakikita ngayon. Hindi nyo pa nakikita. Hindi <laughs> nila nakikita kung sino yung guest natin. Kaya na tayo dito. <laughs> Naka-black. Naka-black. <laughs> yung guest natin ngayon, kilala natin siya bilang actor. Yes. Pero, not many know na nagkaroon siya ng mini directorial debut. True. Sa Maya TVC. So, yung Maya TVC na napanood nyo, co-directed by Lel Sacris and direct... Liza Severano. Yes! So, ito, meron kang morning routine? Um, I used to. I don't have one. <laughs> Pwede, nung, nung first... Ilang days ba yung TV mo? Yung shoot. Two days. Two days. Two days. Two, day TV. two days lang yun lahat? Yeah, two days lang yun lahat. Wala. Hindi kaya yun ito nit. So, yung mga ganda sa akin, ten days? Huh? Full length. Ang daming budget. <laughs> Pinakamabilis na movie na ginawa ko alone together. Ilang days na ba tayo? Nineteen. Mm. Pero, Sabi na nga ba si Liza ng direct na eh, no? Pero luxury na yun. <laughs> pero luxury na ngayon yung 19 days, ha? Ah. Luxury? Oh, because everything's fast now. So, yes. Actually, I have a friend that shot a movie in 9 days. Ano nine pinaka days. mo? 9 days. Nine days. Ay, hindi, may 7 days pa ako. Wow! Wala oh. kayo sa lola ko. Oh, bakit? Nagde-direct ba siya? Dating called Tadhana. Al- Ay, Sabi na nga ba matanda na yung direct? <laughs> <laughs> sa two days na commercial na TVC as director ah yes. ano yung morning routine mo sa first day and second day um well I wake up um ay buti na ba buti na ba ano ayaw kailangan dito di ba I wake up <laughs> As soon as the alarm goes off, I stand up. And, I <laughs> <feel> <laughs> and then I go to the bathroom and I go number two. It takes me. <laughs> it takes me 20 minutes to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yung number two? Yeah, because I like just sitting on the toilet and then I like to uh, read um magazine. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's like, you know, hindi siya under the gun. I don't know. 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 As director? Yes. As actor? Both. 6 a.m. <laughs> 6 a.m. as actor. It was Kasi pa na no uwi ba siya? Muna, uli, pa- hindi, bago siya tawagin bilang director. Hindi, iniisip ko kasi parang mas maaga yung call time niya as director kasi magsiset up muna siya. At saka siya mag-make up. <laughs> hindi. Okay, let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! Hindi <laughs> kayo nalagkakasundo. <laughs> no, because it was, um, it was mainly directed by Direct Lyle sa Chris. Yes. Um, he was the one, you know, setting up, doing more of the technical work. My involvement was, was more on the story and... Mm. Um, my lines, my acting in it, kind of mm. directing my myself maybe. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. So hindi naman ako yung sa technical part na nagtitingin ng angulo. Okay, uh-huh. okay, okay, okay. That was all direct Lyle. So parang collaboration talaga na yes. technical mm. side and creative. Creatives. Yes, but also direct Lyle was also very um, hands-on with the creative aspect of it, alongside the chief marketing officer of uh, Maya Pepe Torres and also the cr- creative director, uh, Apple Santa Maria. Yes. Mm. Yes. So day two, mm-hmm. 6 a.m. pa rin. I believe so. Yeah, 6 a.m. pa rin. <laughs> so, ka? Uh, the first day, na pack up ako 8. The second day, 8 din. Oh, oh, up 14 oh, hours. Oh, kasi ganun na ang ano oh, ngayon. Ganun na ang ano ngayon. 14, 14 hours na lang. Hours. Well, the ones that, yung mga good ano productions. Ay, palakihin natin to. Palakihin natin. Magbabalik po. <laughs> <laughs> sige, sige, mag-intro uh, muna tayo. Pero ang ganda nung ano, pag-uusapan natin kasi, 
usually nga, tinatanong si Hopi ng mga experiences niya as an actor. Ganyan. Pero ngayon, first time natin siyang makikilala as co-director and part of the creative process. Yes. Na collaboration. Okay, game. Ay, wait, tapay ko siya ako. Pag nagdadirect ka ba, meron kang director's chair? Did I? No, I didn't have a director's chair. Because I was just like, you know, hanging One with everyone. Uh-huh. Actually, si Derek Lyle nga, hindi umuupo eh. Nakatayo siya. Like, as in, katabi ko siya habang sinashoot namin. Hindi pala umuupo talaga yun. Yeah. <laughs> si Tunet kasi, si kasi, director's high chair. Uh-huh. Yes. Gabi to. Gabi to. Gabi to. Gabi to. Gabi to. Ano na nga? Natawa ako sa high Alam chair. Kasi. <laughs> Sabi ko sa inyo to si Liza. <laughs> Oh, game intro, intro. Ako si JP at after nito, magsusunog ako ng mga damit na hindi nakasya sa akin. Bakit? Hindi ko gising. Ay, Maya, hindi po napanood. <laughs> <laughs> hindi po napanood <laughs> dito net yung TVC. Ah, okay. Kasi naman, pwede naman ang daming ano. May God to net. Kailangan ba isa-isa yung director ka, di ba? O, oh, tiga mo. Nag-agay siya ka. <laughs> sige. <laughs> ang hirap ng intro mo, JP. Okay, sige. Pass. <laughs> Okay, eh, magbibigay na lang ako ng trivia sa Alone Together. Ako si Tonet, at ang trivia ko na ka <laughs> At ako nag-direct ng Alone Together. Wow, Tonet, thank you, ha? <laughs> ako kasi ang nag, um, nagsulat at nag-direct ng Alone Together. Tapos, doon sa Alone Together, ano, balik ko na yung ganito mo, di ba? Balik ko na yung <laughs> Alam mo, yun talaga namang natin kay Hopi. Wala, ayun na lang kung ano yung balik ko. <laughs> yun alam natin kay Hopi. Sa'yo nga patingin? Oh, maganda nga siya, hindi nagagawa ba niya <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Napaka-mature. Kaya <laughs> kaya. Okay na kami kasi ngayon itong buka. <laughs> anyway, so alone together. Dahil nga, may ano na. Broken finger. Yes. Inigish mo. <laughs> Balik ko na yung ganito. <laughs> Balik ko na yung ganito niya. Kung mapapansin nyo, lahat ng mga holding hands nila ni Ken sa mga eksena, nasa left yung kamay niya, Hopi. Kasi nga, hmm. alam nga namang pag may tight, nakaganda uh-huh. yung... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yung finger ko kasi na hindi ganito, hindi ganito kaganda, nakaganon siya. Oo, dati. As in... Ganyan talaga siya. Tsaka meron siyang oh ano, may, may siya bandage. Play. May bandage, mm-hmm. kundi nyo mapapansin because movie magic. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Tinanggal namin kasi sobrang ano niyan, mm-hmm. ba? Diba? So yun, mm-hmm. at least ako may trivia. Ako si Tonette. Ako si Tonette. <laughs> Guess that. Kailangan yun. mo may trivia din ako. Hindi ako, hindi ako nakapag-prepare for this. <laughs> Pero, may ganito. Anyway, go. Ako si Liza Soberano, and I co-directed my Maya commercial. Ako si Liza Soberano, yun lang. Can it be a visual thing? Okay, yeah. Ako si Liza Soberano, and kaya ko mag-cross ng isang eye lang. Kasi kaya ko dalawa, pero kaya ko din isa lang. Oh my God. Like that. And I think that is... Good. And I can do tongue tricks too. Like, um. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> I can make a taco out of my tongue. I can make a clover. No. Kaya din ito na ito. <laughs> oh, Gabe, at ito ang Walang Kwentang, Kwentang Podcast. Podcast. Uh, still Spotify exclusive and powered by Maya Oy. Nasa damit ni Liza. It's time to level up to the number one digital bank up in the Philippines, Maya. My money, my bank, my way. So, kung meron kasi kaming series sa uh, Ang Walang Kwentang Podcast, kapag nag-guest kami ng artista or si Milo. Oh, si Milo. Oh, mm. Maraming mara- mara- beses. Oo. Oh, oh. Actually, nandito siya, Milo. <laughs> Laba. Si Milo, lagi siyang, lagi siyang naging guest sa amin. So, meron kaming series na ang tawag namin, Racket Pa More, Shooting and Taping Memes. Mm. So, parang we recount yung mga funniest, most memorable na mga anecdotes from mga shooting namin. Tapos, yes. yun. Kasi minsan, di ba, 
nung nung time na nangyayari yun, pwede siyang devastating or nakakatawa. Pero mm-hmm. through the years, pag binabalikan mo na lang siya, yeah. nakatawa na lang. Mm-hmm. So yun, share namin. Uy! Tsaka, ang daming nakikinig ng mga Gen Z at Millennials. <laughs> na gusto rin magpelikula. <laughs> na gusto rin magpelikula. Na tapos dati, hindi nila talaga alam. Parang, ang, ang alam kasi ng mga tao, di ba? Parang, yung pelikula or mga teleserye, very glamorous. Mm-hmm. Pero actually, bago bago nila mapanood na gano'n, na nakailaw na, mm-hmm. dami nangyayari sa behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Na. So, kaya nag-invite na kami ng mga actors din kasi wala na rin kami makuwento. Wala na kami makuwento. Wala na kami makuwento. Naubos na eh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, ikaw muna. Okay. Ito yung sa akin. Actually, hindi ko ito kwento. Ganyan siya. Kasi wala lang ako kwento. <laughs> hindi, okay. pero... So, may ginagawa ko ngayon na project under ano, Dreamscape. Tapos, ang title nito, Drag You and Me. Malapit na malapit na po sa inyong mga suking tindahan. Tapos, Starring! Starring Andrea Brillantes, JC Alcantara, Christian Bables, yes. at marami pang iba. Okay. Ayan, tapos, day one ata namin to. Tapos, small talk ako with JC Alcantara. Mm. Tapos, ang DOP ko si Cara Moreno. Tapos, sabi ko, Hi, JC. Ako si JP, ganyan-ganyan. Tapos, si Cara... DOP natin. Tapos sabi ni JC, ah, oo, hindi, 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 hindi ko makalimutan si Kara. Tapos, so kwento, yun nangyari. So nag-shoot sila ng Hello Strangers. Ay, Stranger, Stranger lang pala. Uh-oh. Hello Stranger. Uh-oh. Yung series. Tapos, na Iwan. Na Iwan. Uh-oh. Na under Black Sheep. Black Sheep. Uh-oh. Tapos, nag-shoot sila remotely. So nandun, si Kara siya yung assigned sa bahay ni JC. Tapos si Kara kasi mahilig siya magkape sa umaga talaga. <laughs> Alam ko na yun. Tapos, so morning, so kape siya, tapos medyo tinawag siya para mag number two. Hindi siya mga kauwi, so mm-hmm. nakitae siya sa bahay ni JC. <laughs> <laughs> tapos, sabi ni JC, sige lang, ganyan. Kaso, andi mo na. So parang, sige, go lang. Yeah. Ganyan. Tapos, so, tae si Kara, ganyan. Tapos, after niya tumay, hindi niya ma-flash. Sa bahay to ni JC. Sa bahay ni JC Alcantara. Tapos, sinabi niya kay JC, <laughs> ayaw bumaba. <laughs> uh-huh. Tapos sabi ni JC, okay lang kasi medyo sira daw ata yung plumbing that mm-hmm. day, ganyan. So, shoot sila, ganyan. Kaso, so parang, hours after, yung JC, kailangan niya rin pumupo. So, ang ginawa niya, binomba niya yung tae ni Kara. Oh my God, nakakahiya. Kara, nakakahiya. <laughs> Talaga yun. Oo. So, parang, ah, kaya hindi niya makakalimutan talaga si Kara kasi binomba niya yun. Oh my gosh. Ano kaya yun? Pero, kinikwento niyo na kinikwento sa lahat ng tao si Kara. Oh, so proud naman. Proud yun. naman siya. Kasi, Alihin yun ni eh. Oo. Oh, oh, Pero kayong, yung, ano, lactose intolerant ka, di ba? Oo nga. Pero, <laughs> kasi ano yun kapag ocular namin, lahat ng locations na check namin, either makikiihi siya, Or Mikey Jebs. Or Mikey Jebs. Parang, wow, tineteritorial mo lahat ng locations na pupuntahan natin, ano. Pero si mga shoot talaga, ang hirap makahanap ng ano. Oo. Wala ka namang Jebs ko sa portal it. O, oh, yung sa akin, kwento na, kwento na to sa akin. Hindi, hindi na nangyari sa kasi wala na rin ako makwento. So, merong isang, may isang production. So, usually, di ba, ang, ang nangyayari, bago mag-start ang isang production, yung production manager or kaya yung EP or kaya yung PA, kailangan nilang i-contact yung artista na kailangan sa sa, sa eksena, set. sa set, ganyan. Mm-hmm. So, inutusan tong ano, inutusan tong PM yata or PA pa siya noon. Mm-hmm. Parang, nasa na yung ano, nasa na yung pinapakontak namin na artista? Kasi, uh, na, na ano, na, na kailangan for the shoot. Kasi ang tagal na, mga mm-hmm. two or three weeks na, hindi pa binabalikan kung available. Tapos parang, sabi, sabi niya, um, eh, kinunta ko na po, pero hindi po talaga siya, hindi pa, hindi pa ako binabalikan. Mm-hmm. Sobrang tagal na rin, fina-follow up ko na. Sabi niya, sabi, ah, bakit ang tagal? Usually naman, di ba, pag nag-text sa manager, sa handler, mag-reply, mag- mag- mag-reply ko available or hindi. Tapos sabi niya, hindi talaga, in-email ko na, in-email ko na po. An- Anong email? Bakit email? Eh, di ba usually, text. text lang, ganyan. Sabi, in-email ko na po, in-email ko na rin. Yung Disney, hindi sumagat, sumasagot, Disney me. Si Dumbo yung pinapahal ng Disney. Oh my God. <laughs> si Dumbo ang show time. Oh my God. Ang Dumbo ng Dumbo Disney. Na, ano, kaya ang sabi, sabi pa daw, available daw yung costume. Costume? <laughs> <laughs> Pero si Dumbo. Ano ba? Oh my God. Tapos, alam mo yung ito. Sa so, show time ano, lang ito. Ay, Dumbo. Ito yung hindi ko rin alam minsan. Ano mong kayo? Pagkakaroon na natin. <laughs> Si Dumbo ang showtime kasi. Bakit natin kailangan si Dumbo? Ano yung once upon a time ba ito? Ano? Ano kwento? MMK ba? Pakisabi. Ang gigil ako. Pero 
in fairness, Disney. talagang umabot siya. In fairness naman. Very resourceful. Talagang oh. in-email. Pero maganda sana yun, no? Kung na-contact niya talaga. Oo, oh, tapos dumadating si Tom. Tapos dumadating. Tapos dumadating. Tapos dumadating. Ang ganda nun. Ang ganda. Sana nangyari. Sana nangyari. <laughs> Pero eh, diba, iba pa rin. Iba pa rin yung ano ng PA. Kasi mabot siya eh. Maganda yung dumating si Dumbo ng Showtime at si <laughs> Dumbo <laughs> ng Disney para lahat sila magkakatuluan. <laughs> Kagulat ang <laughs> sila. Ano po yun? dito? Saka dito galaw. Anyway, sana na-call si Dumbo. <laughs> sana. Okay. O oh, ikaw, game. It's okay. your turn. As artista to as director. As artista. Okay. 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 So, um... Ang first ko is kind of related to what JP said earlier. Tae din. <laughs> Kasi yung tae ko, hindi siya mabaho. Ah, wow. Yes. I'm one of favorite in Lord. Oh, go. But yung akin, hindi talaga. Sige na nga. Gusto mo ba ng meda? Gusto mo ng meda? Anyway, oh. this was uh, my first teleserye ever. Uh, kung ako iiwan mo. And then... Si Ortiz na doon. Jay Cuenca, Shaina Magdayao, Banks Garcia. Oh, mm, okay. okay. Directed by Direct Manny Palo. Uh, so, first of the series, I was 12 at the time. That po, uh, 12 or 13, I can't remember. That was, we were taping until, siguro mga 2 or 3 a.m. na yun. Mm. <laughs> that was, nag, nagpa midnight snack sila. That was yung snack nila. Alam mo yung red na hot dog. Na laki yung midnight snack. <laughs> <laughs> may brown kasi na hot dog kanina. Okay, okay, okay. Tapos may eggs. Alam mo yung common na yes, sa okay. midnight mm-hmm. night. So yung dad ko, parang kumuha breakfast, siya ng... parang second breakfast na 'yan. Yeah. Uh-oh. Second breakfast. So yung dad ko kumuha kasi inaantay niya kami. And then kumain siya sa car. And then pag pack up, dumiretso ako sa car. Tapos biglang sabi niya ang sakit ng tiyan ko sa kinain ko yata. Sabi ko mag-CR ka muna kasi mahaba pa yung drive namin. Mm. So Walang CR kasi doon sa location. Portalette lang. Eh, hindi naman pwede mag number two sa Portalette. Di ba? <laughs> so, yung dad ko... <laughs> For some people, yes. Pumunta sa Portalette. Tapos sabi niya... Tinanong niya yung bantay sa Portalette. Pwede bang mag number two dito? Tapos sab- syempre, sabi ng bantay, hindi. Hindi po Mm-mm. pwede. So, si daddy, ano na, ano na siya. So, sabi niya walang choice. Pumasok siya. Tapos he did his... He did the deed. Tapos pumunta siya... Bumalik siya sa car. Sabi ko, how did you go? Tapos sabi niya, I just... I just went. Tapos sabi ko, eh, hindi pwedeng mag, ano, na, mag number two doon. Tapos sabi niya, yeah, I know. Tapos nag-drive kami, tapos biglang sabi niya, hopey, baba mo window mo. <laughs> Nasa passenger kasi ako, siya yung nag-drive. My dad was driving for me at the time. Binaba ko yung window ko, tapos meron siyang tinapon across my face. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> sabi ko, ano yun ang <laughs> It was his brief. Oh my god! <laughs> he went in the portal and then he gave him the brief. Then he was like... But he's still crying when he's crying. 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 Highway pa. So, mabilis siya. <laughs> Grabe siya. Oh I think, God. ginawa niya yun on purpose. <laughs> my other story is, during Forevermore, nagtitaping kami sa Baguio. Tapos, may dumating sa point na ang daming fans, tourists, mm. na pumupunta ng Baguio para makita Kasi yung set. Kasi nagpag-tourist oh, spot na yung La Presa. La yeah, Presa. Yung La Presa. So, Ang nangyayari, ang daming tao, so hindi kami makapag-taping ng maayos kasi either maingay sila or nakikita mm. sila sa background. So in between takes, pinapayagan namin sila lumapit sa set para mag-picture with the artists or makita yung set. Mm. Tapos, naging running um, internal joke sa amin, yung may mga fans kasi na nangungurot. Oh. Oh. sila ng artista, oh. di ba? So... So, meron, sobrang gigil. Meron, oh. Kami ni Ken, we were playing games with each other na tuwing merong fan na magpa-picture, kinukurot namin. Like, habang <laughs> namin, kinukurot namin yung isa't isa. Hindi yung fan. Oh. <laughs> so, si Ken, nung day na yun, kurot, kinukurot niya ako dito sa, sa my ribs ko, sa arms ko. Tapos, gusto ko siyang bawian. Pero yung masakit na masakit. Oh. So, meron yung isang matanda, lola, lola na siya. <laughs> Parang ano. Alam ko lang ako sa lipapunta. Nagpa-picture siya, siya sa amin. So, syempre, sweet kami sa lola yung nagnamin. Tapos kinurot ko si... Ma- kin- kumurot ako. Tapos twinist ko. Yung masakit na masakit. Yung pinakit <laughs> lola ko man ng... Ay! Ang sakit! Kinukurot ako ni Liza! Oh my 
eu acho. Aí ele olha pra mim e eu tô falando com. Sabe com. Ai, só me pode me poupar a sainha e eu. Tapos na ia que eu não vou fazer isso. Eu não sei se eu tô falando com. Por exemplo, eu não quero ter. Ok, na pau. So yeah, I'm so sorry mm. po, Lola. Oh my God. Sana okay po kayo. <laughs> oh, ikaw. Ito na kwento. Uh, Ibakto ba si Hope? Kaya nga. Oh. Sorry, hindi ko alam na take turns pala oh. to. Akala <laughs> <laughs> ko isa lang yung bagay. Isa ka ba? Meron ka ba? Meron. Ayan. Just like. Powerful. Powerful. Uh, ikaw na mag-host. <laughs> Uh, yung sa akin, ako ito kanito before, pero parang pang, pang fresh grad na episode. Tapos ito yung time na nag-art dep pa ako. Tapos art director ba ako rito or set decorator, ganyan. Tapos, ang shoot namin ay Buhay ni Rizal sa Las Casas. Tapos, ano to for GMA News TV. Tapos parang mm. series type. E yung time na pa-morningan din yung shoot. Mm. Tapos, sunod-sunod kasi nga, bataan, so malayo. Mm. So, kailangan matapos mm. lahat. Tapos, bilang art depth, na sobrang bago ko pa nun sa, sa prod, antukin kasi ko. <laughs> masa, masandal. Masandal, oo, uh, tulog. Oo. Uh, uh. As art depth, so parang syempre set up, tapos shoot sila, ganyan. So parang first on set, last on set lagi yung art depth, diba? So ito yung time na parang madaling araw na mga 4am na ata, ganyan. Tapos antok na antok na talaga ako. So, ayoko namang matulog sa set. So ang ginawa ko, natulog ako sa... FB. So, sa yung service namin? <laughs> FB van. Tulog ako doon sa may driver's seat. Ima- ano yun? Isang diretso. Parang, carry, tulog. Okay. Tapos, nagigising na lang ako, shoot na namin the next day. Kasi yung kasama ko sa team, kinakatok yung FB. Kung saan ako nakahiga. Mm. Tapos sila bagong ligo na. <laughs> Tapos ako parang, yung oily-oily yung mukha ko. Tayo-tayo yung baho ko. Pawis na pawis kasi bataan. Tapos parang, Chip, yung ginagawa mo dyan. Shushot na tayo uli. Parang ha? Doon ko natulog. Doon ako natulog. Tiyo, walang gumising sa akin. Walang naghanap. Nasaan si JP? Parang... Baka may naghanap. Tapos si JP, di ko alam. Okay. <laughs> parang sabi ko, nag- hindi niyo ko hinanap. Hindi niyo ko ginising. Isang <laughs> hindi ka mahalaga. Parang... Hindi ba ako kamahal-mahal? Pangit ba ako? Paano ba kayo sumagot? Oo! Okay! Katanong lang yun! Katanong ina mo ah! Pwede ka naman mura dito? Oo! Hindi ka naman mura yun. Pero grabe yun. Ayaw ka naman. Paano yun? Naligo ka pa? O nag-diretso ka sa shoot? Naligo ko tayo ito! Uwe. Saan ka maligo? Medyo malang difference naman. Pero yung alam mo sa sarili mo parang naligo ka naman. Oh my God. Skiller. O yan sa akin. O yan na yung last ko. O last. Wala na. Wala na. Joke lang. Joke lang. Joke lang. Joke lang. Oo, papaniwala pa rin mo kami dito. Okay. Pero okay na yun. Okay na yun. Okay na yun. Okay. Sige. Meron ka hindi funny. Isa na lang na ano. Very memorable. Hindi naman dramatic. Pero parang something na you will always remember. Na hindi funny pero something that touched your heart. Oh, something that touched my heart. Hmm. Marami siya mag-isip na parang... Paano ka ba mag-isip? <laughs> Great school! <laughs> okay, sige. One of the most memorable would have to be Forevermore pa rin. I have like a lot of core memories of Forevermore. Meron kaming ginawa ni- na scene ni Ken na napaiyak namin si Direct Cathy. And that's so hard. Like, hmm. mahirap siyang... Paiyakin. Paiyakin. Or mahirap siyang, ano, parang paniwala paniwalain. Mm. Mahirap siyang paniwalain sa emotions namin. Like, mm. sometimes she knows when you're really acting mm. and she knows when you're just, you know, it's just all in the mm. face or the voice. So, napaiyak siya. Mainly kay Ken kasi ang galing talaga ni Ken sa scene na yun. But, that was the moment siguro na realize ko that I loved acting. Oh. Yeah. Kasi pag na-touch mo yung director, parang yeah. iba talaga. Because yeah. she knows what to expect. So, mm. mahirap. It's hard for them to really feel the scene. Yeah. Ito ba yung ano, binalikan ka ni Ken dun sa bahay? Binalikan niya ako sa bahay, oh, tapos... Gusto ko mag-senan, hindi mo naman alam yun, maka-oo. <laughs> parang, nag, um, parang sabi niya, he'll be with me, pero oh, yun pala aalis siya. Ang ganda nun, ang ganda yeah. ng eksena na yun. 
parang kumbaga, the scenes before that, that you were shooting, or the days before that, that mm-hmm. you were shooting, parang hindi mo pa nakikita yung sarili mo mm-hmm. na mahal yung acting. It's not that. It's like, hindi pa ako, I, I didn't believe in my capabilities as an actress. So, it was it's hard to be passionate about something when you're worried that you're not good enough. Mm. And then her crying and her really feeling the scene validated all of our hard work and effort. Mm. Or parang minsan, di ba, may time na parang pumupunta ka lang sa set bilang dahil trabaho siya. Mm-hmm. So parang paunti-unti, parang ito na yung passion mo. Yes. Five things we love about Maya. It's everything in a bag. Number one. Up to 10% interest per annum na pwedeng-pwede mong makuha sa savings. Tapos, credited pa yan daily. Oh, ang bongga. Uy, grabe. Ang taas ng 10% interest per annum, Maya. Yan ang gusto ko sa Maya. Mas nakaka-encourage kasi madali lang mag-save. Gamitan mo lang yung Maya mo for everyday transactions para makakuha ng malaking interest. So, the more you use Maya to pay your bills or shop, more chances to up your interest rate. Ibang sa'yo. Taray, ang daming terms, Charis. Saka, hindi mo na kailangan na maraming apps masyado kasi yung Maya, all-in-one money platform yan para magamit mo ng mabuti yung pera mo. Save, borrow, spend, invest, and more. Gamit lang yung cellphone mo. Number two, isang alinlangan natin kapag digital bank aminin. Ang tanong natin, save bang money ko? O, oh, sasagutin na namin yung alinlangan nyo sa Maya. Yes na yes! Dahil na-discover namin na Maya is one of six digital banks na licensed ng Banko Central ng Pilipinas. Plus, your savings is insured by PDIC. So, safe ito! Aray! Ano yung PDIC muna? Philippine Doctors! Charet! <laughs> Number 3. Nakita mo ba tong Shala Looking Black Maya card ko? Oh, my username ko yan! Kala mo, ikaw lang? Siyempre ako rin, oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh diba? Ang bongga. Kasi tong username, pwede mo yan gamitin to send and receive money. Ito na ang uso ngayon, JP. Oh, diba? Napakadaling magpadala ng pera. Parang nagtatag ka lang ng friend mo, ganyan. So, sendan nyo na ako, at JP Habak. Please, ako rin, at Tonette Hadawne. Pero, ang pinaka-importanting reason, it gives you the option to preserve your privacy, di ba? Lalo na kapag ayaw mong ibigay yung personal info. Hmm, di ba? Lalo hmm. ngayon, just ko, just ko, hindi na True. natin alam. Number four, Maya is accepted by millions of merchants, not just here in the Philippines, but worldwide! <laughs> Correct, eh. So, pag mag-shopping ka outside of the Philippines sa next trip mo, pwedeng, pwedeng, pwede mong gamitin ng Maya. At number five... Pwedeng, pwedeng, pwede mong gamitin ng Maya to scan other QR codes sa tulong ng QRPH. Basta makita mo yung red, yellow, blue logo dun sa gitna. This is possible because of a collaboration with the BSP to make QR payments more universal. So it's now easier to pay using Maya everywhere you go. Ang bongga ng Maya! Diba? Nari-invent mm. ang sarili at nag-evolve into everything and a bank. For everyone and everywhere. That's Maya! It's everything! And a bank! Thanks, Maya! So dun sa ano, ito na yung sa... Since ikaw nga yung co-director mm-hmm. ni Direct Lyle dun sa, sa Maya TVC, parang meron ka bang naaalala na... Kung hindi funny, sobrang mm-hmm. memorable lang. Na sa two-day shoot. Sa two-day shoot na yun. Oh. Siguro, oh. everything was very memorable kasi ang daming first-time experiences na nagawa mm-hmm. namin sa set. One thing that was the most memorable and enjoyable for me was the flamethrower shot. Mm-hmm. Kasi first time ko lang makahawak ng flamethrower. Hindi ko nga alam na me- that it's a real thing. Kasi <laughs> <laughs> so, totoo nga. Yeah, it's a real okay. flamethrower na kinulayan ng purple and green for Maya. Oh. Um, but it was just, it was fun. Parang, It's a good way to release, I don't know, negative energy. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to burn a lot of things, but the long set lang ng dresses you made. So. so two takes, yun, na? <laughs> two takes, yes. Ah. Tapos, siguro the working experience with Direct Lyle, because super first handsome. First time ko ba siya work as director? I think so. Yes. yes. Mm. First time ko, first time ko lang. Um, Direct Lyle, he's unforgettable because I worked like hand in hand with him, talaga. Mm. Um. Ang gusto ko, like, with every scene, he was literally next to me telling me, asking me how I think I should do it, mm. and then also giving suggestions. Mm. Tapos meron yung isang TVC namin, yung quirky, yung black and white. Yes. Mm. Na, yes, yes. Parang yung lips ko, 
um, with the wind, the leaf blower. Parang it was really uh, like that. Like, uh-huh. a roller coaster, diba? He was the one shooting the wind into my mouth. <laughs> yeah. So I'll never forget that. It was my first time having someone point the wind blower at my mouth. That's <laughs> director, pa. Yeah, director. Pa. <laughs> oh, wait, lang bago bago kana punta dun sa ano sa mismong set ng TVC. Nagkaroon kayo ng madaming meetings for the for the pre pride and though. kung ano mismong concept. Yes. Parang yung development ganun, ganun talaga mismo. yung gusto mong maging concept ng ng kasi nung napanood ko yung ano Bago bago kasi nilabas 'yon nang nakipag-meet kami sa sa Maya. Sa Maya. Mm-hmm. Pina, pinakita na nila yung offline. Offline. Mm-hmm. offline. Offline. So guys, yung offline edit parang yung yun yung yung offline edit ibig sabihin latag siya ng edit na wala pa yung mga wala pang graphics, effects, wala pa yung yeah. gra- merong placeholder na graphics pero hindi pa yun yung final. Mm-hmm. So nung pinakita nila yung offline, tuwa kami. Tapos parang mm-hmm. in fairness, mm-hmm. ang, ang quirky niya na na, kay, na hindi kung makikita mo ikaw sa mga mm-hmm. teleserye man, mga pelikula, parang hindi mo may expect na yun yung, yun yung may isip mong commercial. Tapos, True. kung kilala nyo rin si Sir Lyle, baliw talaga kasi si Sir mm. Lyle. Di ba Sir Lyle yung tawag na? <laughs> baliw. Baliw talaga oh. siya. Sobrang, ay, meron ako siya share. Yung ano, yung, ah, naalala mo yun? Kanina. Yung thesis film ni Sir Lyle sa UK. Oh. Isa yun sa mga pinakamagandang experimental films. Yung experimental film na ginawa niya na thesis, installation siya na tatlong TV na magkakapatong. Mm-hmm. Tapos may lumilipad na lobo mula sa baba. Tapos lumipad yung lobo, pupunta lumilipad sa second sa na TV. TV. Tapos pupunta siya sa pangatlong. Tapos sobrang ganda. Ganda. Yun, sobrang ganda. Sobrang... Mm. Tapos, ano siya, experimental director. Tapos yung, meron siyang dinirect na music video. Kasi naging music video din si director, uh-huh. di ba? Tapos meron siyang dinirect na music video ni Kyla. Ni Kyla! Mm-hmm. I-search niya yan. Hanggang ngayon natin. Uh-huh. Ganda Saka nun. Saka nandit, nandit mm. si Jameer. Oo, ganda na. Rest in peace. Anyway, so natuwa kami nung sinabi na co-director mo, si Sir Lyle. Mm-hmm. Sobrang happy kami for you na mm-hmm. siya yung nakakollaborate mo sa yeah. first TVC. Mm-hmm. Siya din yung naka-work ni James for his TVC. Ah, Ay, yes. Oh. Yung Bitcoin. Yes, oh. Oh. So, a- ano yung naging process niyo bago ka nakarating sa ganong concept na iba't ibang Liza? Well, it started with a meeting with uh, Pepe Torres, the chief marketing mm-hmm. officer. They were here, the Maya team, for an event for James's Love Scene album launch. Mm. Tapos, nakasalubong ko lang sila sa baba and then we were, <laughs> we were talking kasi I didn't, I knew of them kasi pumupunta na sila sa office at the time yes. para, um, to talk to James and come up with the campaign ideas. Pero hindi ko sila nakakausap talaga one-on-one and so parang they took their opportunity then to get to oh. know me mm. um, beyond just being an actress. Parang they wanted to know my interests, my Like what are things? What are some of the advocacies that I'm passionate about? Mm. Parang gusto nila ako makilala bilang tao, not just as an artist. Yeah, we just had a really good conversation about like what was the direction I wanted to pursue with my my career. Ano yung mm. mga next na gusto kong gawin, mm. and then revolving around that that conversation, dun siya gumawa ng parang storyline for the commercial. Okay. And then meron meron silang pinitch na ibang concept before this final one that we actually mm. ended up doing. After that, they pitched the new concept. Habang nasa States ako, they pitched this concept and we really liked it kasi it was referencing a lot of my previous projects and mm. um, career mm. yeah. in the past. It was it was a really good experience kasi from concept all the way up to the execution, I was involved. Mm. They asked me for my input to rephrase lines to make them more natural for me to say like mm. something that I would actually yes. mm. actually say uh-huh. and um, it was very liberating and empowering and it really forced me to use my creative mind mm. and so this one I had to like think outside of the box and give them ideas as well so like you part ng commercial where I I talk about like uh, aliens and barakai or the, mm. <laughs> the kitten yes. uh, uh, kitten zombie thingy That was all from my mind. Because <laughs> on the on the spot nila ginawa. That was uh, actually three days pa nga namin shinuti yung commercial. <laughs> no, because 
nakalimutan ko the whole Zoom part. Diba may parang Zoom? Uh, ah, so, okay. Uh, guess, guess. Uh, ibang day yun. Separate day. Okay. Tapos sinute namin sa bahay ko mismo. Uh, okay. Parang there were four people from the team that came to my house para mm. we set up. Tapos everyone else was actually on Zoom. Uh, Tapos mm. we we shot that at home. Tapos sabi ni Derek Lyle, mag-isip ka ng mga scenario na gusto mong ilagay sa <laughs> sa commercial. Ah, so puro ad-lib siya. Tapos saka sinute yung ano. Yes. Sabi si Gori Sir, like, ano itong nice? Ang daming gusto pa lang gawin nito. Ba't ko pati nanong? Pero ang galing, in fairness. Lagi namin sinasabi na ang film, or in this case, even TVC and mga series, dapat talaga collaborative ka. Kasi parang kapag i-gatekeep mo yung mga ideas mo, tapos hindi ka ayaw mo sa critique, di ba? Ayaw mo sa criticism. Wala. Yung idea mo na, oh, pwedeng maganda na, mm-hmm. nawawala yung opportunity na mas lumaki pa. Mm. Pero tama yon yung ano, parang feeling, kasi di ba mostly ng mga artista, pumapasok lang sila kapag malapit na mag-shoot. Mm. Tapos parang, nakakatuwa kapag kunwari, nasa script development pa lang, tapos kasama mo na yung artista sa pag-develop din ng karakter niya. Yeah. Parang mas nagiging magandang collaboration siya hanggang mm-hmm. dulo. Mm-hmm. Madalas kasi kunyari, yung artista pumapasok na lang sa character sa so, di mismo mm. nang shoot. Yes. Oh. Pero di, kunyari, mas nakakatuwa for a director, kahit mm. for a writer, na yung yung actor, sobrang invested na rin dun sa mm. character. Pag nabasa niya yung script, nagbibigay siya ng ano, nag siya ng meeting, mm. tapos may may mga scene studies, character mm. studies. So, ano yon sobrang, di ba, sobrang nakaka-happy mm. pag, for a director na willing talaga yung... Kasi parang ang dating, hindi siya racket lang. Oh. Yeah. Hindi niya nila racket yung... Passion ito. and commitment oh, oh. talaga siya. Yeah, oh. true. And like what I realized with that too is as an as an artist, di ba, you become more appreciative and understanding of the process mm. that goes on behind the film. Mm. Kasi like you said, you usually ang artista, well with me in the past, dadating na lang ako sa set memorize the lines mm-hmm. already but I don't understand how much time and effort goes into everything mm-hmm. before that mm-hmm. yeah. and pag alam mo na yung process parang you have more patience you have more yeah. understanding and you want to give more contribution to make it you know exciting and memorable mm-hmm. yeah. oh kaya nung ano nag script writing workshop kami nun with uh, Ricky Lee Sir Ricky mm-hmm. tapos classmate ko nun si Miss Sherry Sherry Hill oh, wow. mm-hmm. Si, classmate uh, mo siya. Classmate okay. ko siya. Tapos parang tinatanong kami isa-isa na ni Sir Ricky, bakit kami nandito? Mm-hmm. Ay, doon sa workshop, kanyan. Tapos parang sabi ni Miss Sherry, parang wala naman talaga akong dreams of being a writer. Mm-hmm. Gusto ko lang makapagsulat kahit isang script lang para mm-hmm. maintindihan ko yung proseso ng isang writer. Para mas oh. mapaganda ko yung pag-arte ko. Parang, Mundo. Kanda nun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tsaka sabi nga din nila, for directors naman, malaking advantage din kapag mag-acting workshop yung director. Hindi dahil mm-hmm. para mat- matutong umarte yung director. Mm-hmm. Pero para mas malaman niya yung pinagdadaanan ng isang artista sa kanyang creative process as an actor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kasi, tsaka di ba, la- minsan nga may nagkatanong sa aking artista na parang, kapag kunyari sobrang bigat na eksena. Mm-hmm. Kasi karaniwan yun, di ba? Kunyari sa isang eksena, sobrang umiiyak, sobrang bigat. Pagka-cut mo, umiiyak pa rin yung artista. Mm-hmm. Hindi sila nakakalabas. Yeah. Para kahit anong gawin mo, ibig sabihin sobrang, Pasok hindi na niya inaarte. Mm-hmm. Eh, parang oh. pagkatao na niya yung inanyas, parang tinatanong nila, direct, paano ba ako lalabas sa, sa characters? Parang, hindi ko alam eh. Hindi ko alam eh. Hindi ko alam talaga. So parang gusto ko rin malaman ano ba yung ano ba yung proseso ng isang mm. artista mm. from the time na nag, nagsabi ako ng action hanggang nag-cut and even yeah. after. Mm. Itong, itong pagiging director mo, pagiging part ng collaboration sa, ano, sa, sa writing, part to ng bagong journey mo as mm. you. But what made you choose Maya na parang Parang nagsuwak kayo ng mm. ano. I think it's because we have a lot of values that we resonate with, that mm. I resonate with them. First, it started with, well, when they rebranded last year, nakita ko yung campaign na ginawa nila. It was really big. They did a music video with Sean Shadow. Oh, yeah, yes. so... And super, ang ganda ng kanta, mm. ang ganda ng concept. And I like that the branding wasn't too in your face, mm. pero mm. it was, it was yeah. there. Siya, yeah. Hindi rin uh-huh. naman siya lumubog. So, I really appreciated that about them. And I was amazed that they did the unexpected because they mm. wouldn't expect yeah. for like a, a banking company to mm. to collaborate through like artistry yeah. mm. and music and everything and then I really appreciated how collaborative they were I really appreciated that they really took the time and effort to understand James and his career trajectory 
um, where he was at right mm. now para mas cohesive yung storytelling yeah. mm. for each for each brand and then for me this whole past year for me transitioning to you know the career that I had before and into this new chapter in my life but um I was always questioning like what else is there to me parang mm. ano pa bang kaya mm. kong gawin or mapakita sa mga tao na hindi pa nila nakikita from me mm. even me hindi ko alam kung ano yun like i'm still exploring uh, mm. trying to figure out what that is and so when i started meeting with Maya and they were giving me the opportunity to really empower they were empowering me to be creative and to to hear my voice and give ideas parang i really enjoyed that process mm. i i started realizing that i really enjoy anything that is creative mm. and i really appreciate like all the hard work and the art form that goes mm. into creating mm. commercials tv film and so they're just really supportive of me and that's why i want to be very supportive towards mm. them too mm. because they gave me this platform to kind of find myself and kung saan ako passionate mm. Taray. Ikaw kaya mo yun? Pas. <laughs> Pas na naman. Pero ma- ano yun, ang, ang saya nung feeling na parang supported ka mm-hmm. ng isang malaking company mm-hmm. or malaking group dun sa mm-hmm. gusto mo rin gawin yes. personally. And actually, beyond that, kasi as we were working on the campaign, nakapag-usap kami about, you know, our personal lives and like i mentioned earlier mm. you had advocacy mm. ah, yes, yeah, so. one thing that i wanted to put more effort into this year is my work with save the children mm. yeah. and so mm. i brought that up to them that was always something that i was very passionate about helping other people and i wasn't as like hands on with that back then cuz i was always busy you know taping mm. and everything mm. and in the little time that i did have for myself I would help out organiz- foundations, sorry, foundations mm. like Chosen Children Village in Cavite. And then there's another foundation in Pasay for the elderly that I used to support too. Mm. But then I realized as I was getting older, yung support na ginagawa ko, the help that I was doing, it was meaningful, yes. Mm. Pero hindi siya sustainable. Mm. So I wanted to figure out this year, especially I was starting, I realized that I need to figure out a way to make my help more sustainable and lasting mm. kasi pag nagbibig nagaabot ka lang ng money or food, yes. you know it it feeds them for a day it it lasts them a month mm. or after that yeah yeah wala na so Ganda. i'm coming up with like ideas on on like projects that i can do with save the children and they bring up ko yun sa maya and they uh, were actually very supportive of that they brought me on board as their chief advocacy officer because they wanted to support me as well and my vision for helping Filipinos on two different levels mm. one um through financial inclusion and two through incorporating that culture in their company mm. um like encouraging and empowering other people to do in the in the company mm. to do the same and so yeah that that's actually the main thing that i appreciate the most about maya mm. like mm. it's not it's not just business they really mm. believe in changing the culture and changing the future for Filipinos yeah ganda, ganda noon mm-hmm. bibira yung mga company na someone who believes in your talent mm-hmm. tapos someone who also believes Supports. on what you stand for yes. yeah uh, yung yung save the children network they can donate via maya um yes so we're starting this campaign called the big money heist and basically What Maya will be doing is they'll be giving me a code for people that want to sign up mm. on Maya, mm. and they can use that code Liza Loves Maya to sign up. And then all they have to do is create their account and then um, complete a transaction, and then fifty pesos will get donated to Save the Children organization. And our goal is to have at least one million people sign up with that code. Mm. And so, for if we reach that goal of one million, that's fifty million for a project that I'm. Working on with Save the Children. The details of that I will start talking about on my social media platforms mm. later on. But it's a really big project aimed towards single mothers and children. Oh, mm. galing. Ganda nong. Ganda. So thank you sa mm-hmm. sa ganong ano mm-hmm. sa ganong pananaw at mm-hmm. using your platform na nakakatuwa na. May mga may mga artista na ginagamit talaga yung platform, yung platform. nila. Oo, oh, nagpo-post ng mga ano mm-hmm. nagpo-post ng mga ito, promo, ganyan, mm-hmm. mga partnership, collabs, pero mm-hmm. um, masarap makakita ng mga artista na, gaya na sabi ni JP, mm-hmm. 
merong pinaniniwala mm-hmm. and willing na gamitin yung platform nila. Yes. Hindi lang sa hindi lang happy, siya happy social, beauty, uh, beauty. Yes. Tsaka hindi lang mm-hmm. nasa social media lang. Parang on-ground. Yes. yes. Important yun eh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you naman. <laughs> Thank you. Galing. <laughs> Tissue. O oh, diba kayong mga ginagawa ni Hopi? Parang may advocacy, umaarte, ngayon nagdi-direct na, mm. tapos maganda. Maganda parang... <laughs> Try mo kaya mag-flamethrower. Baka kaya. <laughs> Ako pabaloktot na nga. Actually, mahirap yun kasi hindi ko mapo yung oh, trigger. Uh, Actually, it's okay na siya ngayon na. Dati. Yeah, it's prettier now. Oh, diba? Mas hindi siya yeah, obvious. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. And thank you, Maya. Yes. Ayan, so sa mga brands dyan, tulad ng Maya, baka naman you'd like to partner with us, feel free to email us at podcast at gmail.com. And if you like this episode and podcast, please follow us on Spotify. Click the follow button and also the bell button. Kung gusto nyo ma-notify kayo, tuwing yung bago kaming lapag. Tapos, kung meron na kayong Maya account at meron kayong gustong i-share na features ng Maya, ano yung favorite features nyo? Mention us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok using the hashtag Ang Walang Kwetang Podcast and My Money, My Bank, My Way. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and ako, a- ako naman, at Tonette Hadaone. Ako naman, at JP Habak sa Twitter at Instagram. Ikaw, ano? Ikaw. At ako naman, si Liza Soberano on Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> At, wait, <laughs> what? Soberano, <laughs> <laughs> Liza, yata ako sa... So, basta, it's one or the other. Tapos, uh, meron din kami nga walang kwentang podcast after podcast chikahan kung saan pwede rin kayo mag-share ng inyong mga big moves tulad ng kay Hope at Maya. Yes. Uh, ayun! So, thank you, Maya! Level up with Maya! My money, my bank, my way. Yay! Yes. Kanta ka tulad ng my way. What ba my way? It's my life. It's, yun ba yun? It's my life, yun. Yeah. Ba't ako kinakorek mo? Hindi ko alam. My way, my way, my way. Yung luma. Okay. Oh, just ko, baka maging isang episode na naman to. You're talking about the song in Maya. My, it's my life. Oh, yun yung song. Ayun nga. Ay, hirap mo makausap. Ito yung babay na nga, Maya. Oh, babay. Bye-bye.